the song about all you girls because uh, girls are bad. She mistreat me all the time. She to me mistreat her. She mistreat me all the time. Well, I gotta quit the girl weighing heavy on my mind. She don't mean me no good. Be my street up. Lord, she don't mean me no good. But I can't blame a girl. I'd be the same way if I could. The one that you love, she had loving somebody else. Well, she me mistreated. Oh, she don't mean me no good. She don't mean me no good. But I can't, baby, honey. I'll be the same way if I could.
song by Ray Charles, one of my favorites. Change my heart, baby, let me be. Change my heart, you don't care about me. You got my son up like a pillowcase, but you let my love go to waste. Unchain my heart, set me free. Unchain my heart. Hey y'all, I'm Tony Spinner, uh, originally from Missouri, Cape Girardeau, uh, moved to Arkansas to join a band in uh, 1983, December of 83, and uh, that same couple of weeks that I moved here, I met my wife, who still calls me a Yankee, because I'm in Arkansas, but I'm from Missouri, and uh, <laughs> I've been playing ever since around here. I mean, I played in Missouri too, but uh, this has been my home since December of 83. I uh, always listened to the radio. That's, my dad had a little Magnavox transistor, and I'd always get it out, and he'd go, don't run the battery down, you know? But uh, I'd listen to that, and I would hear Casey Kasem on uh, the weekends on a Sunday, and just 50s rock and roll, I liked right away. It kind of made my foot uncontrollably tap, you know, like Chuck Berry, Little Richard, uh, Fast Domino, and uh, I wanted to play saxophone because the people that got the, the lead solos in them songs usually were saxophone players. And uh, my sister got a guitar, and it had only four, had four strings on it by the time I got to use it, and the bass strings, so I could play, I figured out how to play the rhythm to uh, most of those boogie tunes. 
and my next door, well, my neighbor behind our house, his dad played in a surf band, and he tuned it for me, and, and he said, okay, if you want to play boogie, you go ba-dang, 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 ba-dang. So that was kind of my first lesson. And uh, I always liked the melody in songs, and so that kind of made me want to play lead. Years later, I saw uh, the movie Woodstock on television, and when I saw Hendrix playing a guitar upside down and left-handed and making those sounds, I was like, oh my God, you know, that's possible. And so that, from there on, it just went to uh, Dwayne, Dwayne Allman with the original Allman Brothers. There's something just magical about his slide playing. A lot of people can play slide and play incredible fast things with it, and, but Dwayne had that touch and that, uh, that magic. It's hard to explain. Um, same with Hendrix to me. There's a lot better players technically than Hendrix, but uh, something about all his slop and all his chances that he, that he took all the time is just, just really interesting. Welcome to NEA On Stage, live at the Forum. I'm Christy Pulliam, Executive and Artistic Director at the Foundation of Arts. I hope you are as inspired as I am by the excellence in these local musicians and performers and by Ritter Communications, who have partnered with us to make this happen for Northeast Arkansas and beyond. The Foundation of Arts has been home to literally thousands of artists over the past 33 years, and we will rise to meet the challenges that are today. That way, we can still be home for everyone who wants to grow together learn together, heal together, and share in the truth and beauty that is the arts. Thank you so much for being a part of the Foundation of Arts in this way, and enjoy NEA On Stage, live at the Forum. At Ritter Communications, we're dedicated to being a caring community partner. We invest in the communities we serve by supporting local nonprofits, academic programs, local athletics, and events that bring us together. We create the connections that strengthen our communities. Ritter Communications, right by you. Some of Muddy Waters thought I can't be satisfied. I'm just enough out of tune to make it sound authentic. So. Don't you want to go, honey, I'm trouble. Well, in my mind, well, I can't be satisfied, little girl. I just can't keep on crying. But I feel your life snap, a pistol in your face. Let's on lonesome graveyard, honey, or be your resting place. Baby, I'm trouble. You got my word in my mind Well, I can't be satisfied, little girl no. I just can't keep on trying Looking for my baby, I could see a dog on the thing, honey, I'm trouble. They got my word in my mind. Well, I can't be satisfied with a girl. I just can't keep on trying.
Well, no, my little baby, she's gonna jump and shout. That old train be late, and I come stepping out of the truck. You got my way in my mind. Well, I can't be satisfied, little girl. Oh, I just can't keep on kind. Well, I can't be satisfied, baby. I just can't keep on kind. Well, I can't be satisfied, honey, no. Oh, 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 I just can't keep from crying. It's, uh, I first heard this was a Sonny Boy Williamson song. And, uh, of course, the Almond Brothers recorded it. And, uh had to look up who actually wrote it. It's hard to figure out who really wrote songs because, you know, you can't always trust what you read. <laughs> I'll just stop right there. Meanwhile, it's called One Way Out. Second row, I make it by this time. I won't be trapped here no more. Open the window, baby, so I can ease out soft and slow. Oh, well, there's a brand right down there that's keep those neighbors talking that stuff that they don't know. Step in here, take my place, but uh, ain't no way in the world I want out that front door. Cause there's a man right down there, baby. Yeah, might be your man, honey, I don't know. I don't know. 
be the man that damn did. Oh, just might have to be your man, baby. I don't know. Here's the thing, man. Sports has all kinds of support, and I'm not not saying anything bad about sports. That's great. Music just doesn't seem to have the support. Uh, things have changed. Back in the late '70s, early '80s, there were bars. There, there was no internet, so if you wanted to do something, you had to go out and do it. People would go out and dance to bands. Uh, now there's really no place to play unless you're going to play at a restaurant, which I do. Uh, but people aren't there for music. People are there to eat and talk. So I have to, it's like restrictor plate racing. You know, you, you get, I have to keep the brakes on and keep it low, quiet, and not uh, break up their conversation or get too much, uh, be annoying, basically. So kids really have nowhere to do it other than the house. But uh, now, that, now that we have this problem going on, it's kind of, um, the perfect idea just to stream stuff in a, a beautiful place like this man i've played here a couple times in the past and it's just always sounds so good and, um, i think this is a beautiful thing and i'm glad somebody's interested in, in supporting it and because you know you don't have a chance if you don't have help i was lucky growing up my parents supported me in music and uh, most people don't have that support and i couldn't have done you know a third of what i the few things I have done uh, without that support. And so FOA, thank you. So this program, NEA On Stage, live from the forum, it was really interesting how it came about. We have a local community programming channel called TubeTown. And normally this time of year, those people would be involved in taping and producing local sports, high school sports like baseball games and graduation ceremonies and all sorts of stuff that's now been canceled. At the same time, we know that our local musicians around Northeast Arkansas have lost access to gigs that they previously had scheduled, they've lost venues that they can play at, and they've lost connection with their audiences. And third, the Foundation of the Arts, which operates the Forum in downtown Jonesboro, had a number of productions scheduled for this spring that have had to been canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So when we considered all those three things together, it's almost like a light bulb came on and we said, wait a second. We can book these artists to perform at the Forum, doing it in a social, socially responsible, social distancing sort of way. Uh, we can use our TubeTown staff to record and produce a show based on those concerts. We can put that show on TubeTown and on our social media, and it'll benefit the artists, it'll benefit the foundation of the arts, and it'll benefit our viewers who will have an entertainment alternative that they might not have had otherwise. So it really uh, wound up an ambulance to kill three birds with one stone and have a, a positive impact with resources that wouldn't have been used otherwise. You know, we're really pleased with uh, the support we've gotten from the Foundation of the Arts. They've generously allowed us to use the forum uh, as a venue for producing these shows. Uh, and the people that we're featuring are just incredibly talented. NEA has some great musicians. And I know personally, I have missed over the last several weeks the opportunity to go and see them live. So hopefully this fills that, uh, that gap for a number of our viewers. Uh, and we think supporting the arts in the Jonesboro community and in Northeast Arkansas in general is really important. So we're pleased to have the opportunity to do something small uh, to help support the arts during these difficult times. Every day, people across the world are targeted. Some of us never fall victim, while others aren't so fortunate. It can happen before you realize. And it can start with a simple... Maybe you receive an email that you thought was from your closest friend, or your boss needs you to send some information that you know they wouldn't normally ask for. It can happen just like that. Cybercrime is real. Don't fall victim. Don't be scared. Be cautious. And think before you click. A friendly reminder from Calmer Solutions. Taking care of technology so you can take care of business. Called, I gotta go, and it's not about having to pee either. So, huh. 
My songs, um, this is not out yet. I got a new record that's in the can, not the bathroom. I always go back to that for some reason. Uh, and uh, we've been, uh, with modern technology, we've been uh, recording stuff at our houses and sending it via email or uh, across the internet to my band that's over in Holland. And uh, Michelle, the bass player, has got all his parts done. I have all my parts done. And Alex is building a new studio, the drummer. And when he gets the studio done, he's going to put his drums on there. So I don't have to fly back and forth. And uh, because the airport sucks, man. Uh, if you've ever flown, you know what I'm talking about. It just gets worse and worse. Yeah. Here I go again, getting off on a tangent.
We're here to make a choice To understand, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Love is the answer See with your heart Not with your eyes, no Just your feelings don't compromise, no. Doubt is the lock, and faith is the key. First, because you love it. You know, I loved music right away. It made me feel good. Something I could do by myself or with other kids. Um, and if you want to act, it's the same thing. Uh, but do it for the right reasons. Do it because you love it. Don't think to yourself, well, I could have a career. I could be famous. You know, I, I went through that. Like, I want to be a rock and roll star. That has nothing to do with music. <laughs> you know, you don't realize it when you're younger because you know, I started off loving music. All of a sudden, people said, well, if you're gonna play in a bar, you have to make demo tape and you're gonna have to play other people's music. But I wanted to write my own, but you can't do that. So you have to follow these rules. You know, do it first because you love it. If you wanna follow the rules, fine. Don't, don't bend so much that you break. Uh, keep this involved and not this. If something feels, makes you feel bad, if you don't, want to do that don't do it because you think it's going to further your career because for instance if uh, if I played with a band I didn't want to play with and people know me from that band or it has nothing to do with what I really want to do and years go by you know I'm 56 now and it's as they say wink of an eye you know, it really goes fast and if I could do it over I would just follow my heart and not be influenced by money or greed of thinking I could I could be a star you know or this is gonna help me in my career screw the career man do what you want to do life is really that simple in anything yeah, yeah as a matter of fact I, I did a gig with a guy named Kofi Baker and he's the son of Ginger Baker the drummer from the cream and um, you know it was just a three-piece band, and we were doing Cream songs and a couple of Hendrix songs. And uh, we did this show at an outdoor festival with, I don't know, 15,000, maybe 20,000 people, just as far as you could see. This is in Holland somewhere. And um, it was, 
you know, I was scared to death. But it was the first time that I got to be on a big stage and be the singer and the front guy, you know, just in a three-piece rock band where I could actually play guitar like I play. It, I've been in other bands where I'm the side guy and been on big stages, but now I wanted to see if I could do it. And I did pretty good, man. I, I, I didn't know if I could, and it felt really natural, and I was really proud of that. And there's some clips on YouTube, I, I'll look at every once in a while from that particular gig. If I'd have known I was going to live this long, I'd take better care of myself. I didn't come up with that joke. That's Joe Walsh, man. So I'm sure he got it from somebody, too. So I'll tell you another, another one I heard by Joe. So there's this pirate, and he's wanting to get some insurance. So he goes and sees the uh, lady about getting insurance. And she says, well, I have to interview you. She goes, well, first of all, uh, what happened to your uh, leg there? He goes, well, I was in uh, South Pacific and uh, swimming. Shark bit it off. She goes, okay. So she marks that down, shark. And uh, she goes, what about, uh, what about that uh, hand? How are you missing your hand? He goes, well, I was, uh, uh, I was in the Bahamas, and I got in a sword fight. and got lopped off with a sword. She goes, okay. She puts that down, sword, sword fight. Sharks and sword fight. She goes, uh, what about your eye? How'd you lose your eye? He's got the eye patch. He goes, oh, that was a pelican. She goes, a pelican? He goes, yeah, I was sitting on the, uh, sitting on the dock, and a uh, pelican flew over and pooped right in my eye. She goes, well, how did, that, how did that cause you to lose your eye? And he goes, first day with a hook. That's Joe Walsh. You can blame him. He tells her better than I do. Kids, don't do this in school. Loud cheating steel under the table. You got a greasy wheels doing a politician boogie. Politician boogie. A politician boogie. Well, that's what you do. You say, give us this and give us that. Screw so everybody over till you get big and fat doing a politician boogie. A politician boogie. A politician boogie. Do your dirty deal. Nooks in Korea, leaks in there, orange in the White House, and nobody cares. Do the politician boogie. Politician boogie. Politician boogie. Y'all going straight to hell. Misinformation, disinformation, hot palpitation taking over the nation. Do the politician boogie. Politician boogie. The politician boogie. Oh, what the.
And why can you say, why can't you do, no matter what you try, they're gonna cheat and rob you doing a politician boogie. Politician boogie. Politician boogie, y'all going straight to hell. Oh, why don't put them all in a box, ship them in a space, say goodbye, do the look. Politician boogie. Goodbye, politician boogie. Politician boogie, do your dirty deal. Do the politician boogie, do your dirty deal. Do the politician boogie, that's what you do. Looking at me when well, I look back a lot of what I see. Let's get together what we will be. We'll find out if it's meant to be true love. True love. I want a true love. This could last. Leave my ram days in the past. Hey, honey, if you say I do, we're gonna have a love so true. We love, a true love, I want a true love, a true love, a true love, a true love. Shooter Blue. I woke up this morning on a head in Statesboro Blue. 
had to look around the corner. Grandma and Grandpa seemed to have them too. My mama died and left me, papa died and left me Ain't good looking, baby, but somewhere sweet kind Going to the country, baby, do you wanna go? And if you can't make it, your sister said that she will, yeah And I'll take it Well, my mama died and left me, papa died and left me. I ain't good looking, baby, but I got a little money, so call my honey, baby, do you wanna go? Hey, if you can't make a child, your sister said that she will, yeah. I love that woman better than any woman I've ever seen. I love that woman better than any woman I've ever seen. Well, she treat me like a king. Lord, she's my queen. Then wake up, mama, turn your lamp down low. Wake up, mama, honey, turn your lamp down low. Well, you got no nerve, baby, turn up a child from your door. Hey folks, we really appreciate your support to the FOA. It's a foundation of arts, uh, supporting kids, children that don't, don't have the opportunities that, for instance, I was afforded. Um, and your help is desperately needed. Let's think about it. We can keep kids busy doing something that's constructive and we need your support. So please support the FOA. Just because you can 